Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today we are going to learn about how to simulate or how to interface an OLED display with the Tom Fordino Nano microcontroller. As we are doing the online simulation, so we will write VOOCV in Google because it is our uh, online simulating platform. So we will click on VOOCV.com and it will lead us to the simulator's main or dashboard. And here we have four of our microcontrollers and we will choose Arduino. And in Arduino, we can click on Arduino Nano. Now this is our Arduino Nano setup. And on right hand side it is the circuit window and on left hand side it is the programming window. So here we will write OLED. OLED display. So now we will click on like... Uh, of VCC okay and we need to click on ground now we need to connect SCL pin with data of A5 And we need to connect STA pin with that of A4. Okay, now this is our circuit setup. Now we will come towards our coding, and here we will write hash include wire dot h wire dot h. So but this is my first library. Now we need this y.h library because as we are communicating uh, it with the microcontroller, that is the OLED with the microcontroller. So we need these protocols, that is y.h. Okay. And uh, the second is uh, h include gfx.h. So this is our graphics library. One is dealing with the communication protocol functions and the second one used to deal with the graphics related functions because we need certain functions to be implemented inside our avoid loop. So, so obviously we need these libraries. And here we will write hash include hash include SSD 1306.h. This is for the internal construction and functioning of the SSD 1306 because the model number of our OLED display is SSD 1306 so, so we have also imported this library now after this is done we need to write we, we have to define our our some parameters that is hash define not include hash define screen width okay screen underscore width is equal to sorry 128 just write 128 and wherever we will write the screen width it simple means it is screen okay it simply means it is 128 so if you will just write 128 it is good okay or if you will write the screen underscore width variable name still it is okay and we will write here hash define screen width 128 and hash define screen height. Hash define screen height. Screen height. H E I G H T. Hash define screen height and 64. So this is 64. And after this has been done, two of the our variables has been defined. And here we will write the name of the class that is Adafruit underscore SSD 1306. Okay. We need to write SSD 1306. And then we will write its object. Adafruit underscore SSD 1306. So this is the uh, name of the library.
and here we will write uh, we also need to write ada fruit okay we also include ada fruit underscore ssd 1306.h and we also need to write here this okay but let me let me write ssd 13 z ada fruit ssd 1306 okay we have included this library now and while dot edge is already included so now we will run okay well let me comment it out and now we will run it out and either we will see that either it is going to work or not so so it must be a big ssd okay big ssd ssd at a foot underscore ss d1306 dot h okay now it is running so 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 here we will write first the name of the class and you you must know that in order to fetch the functions which lies in this main class or library we have to make an object object of what type with the help of this object we can get all the functions that lie within this main class so we will write a the fruit underscore ssd 1306 and then we can write any name and it will becomes the object of this main class here all it is the object of this main class okay now and we, we need to write certain parameters so we'll write screen width okay screen width comma screen height screen width comma screen height comma and wire comma minus one and wire comma minus one okay so now we will play uh, so we will run it out for this side okay we, we we there is a problem that that we have to remove these two semicolons okay so this is our problem now we will see that what's okay now it is running properly okay now we will go in wide setup and here we will write seal dot begin serial dot begin 9600 and this is for serial communication okay this thing that is serial dot begin is actually the initialization of the serial communication so so we have to write it out and after this has been done uh, we will go and we will check the initialization of our uh, OLED display so we will write if OLED dot begin if OLED dot begin ssd1306 underscore switch cape s w i t c a c a p switch cape vcc comma 0x3c now what is this 0x3c uh this is our it is our address what sort of address it is it is the address i2c address of the OLED display and microcontroller will recognize the solar display with this address so if if OLED dot begin it simply means that if LED is going to initialize or not and if not this exclamation signs means that if OLED is not initialized okay then what we will write we will write serial dot print melon failed and after this has been done we will write while one while one so we will write while one and till while one means that it is an infinite loop so 
uh, as long as it is not initial, is not going to initialize then while one will I check again and again that either if this function is going to uh, okay or not that if it is initialized or not and after this has been done we will write delay of 2000 delay of 2000 means a two seconds delay and here we will write uh, OLED dot set text size now we will go for uh, some now this this set text size is actually a function what sort of function it is it is a function uh, which is the part of GFX library at a foot underscore GFX dot H but uh, we need this dot operator and OLED object for the fetching of this function so we will write OLED dot set text size and this parameter is one so okay so so it is uh, related with that of text size and here we will write OLED dot set text color OLED dot set text text color C O L O R okay and here we will write white uh, we will write white OLED dot set text color okay so we will write OLED dot set cursor OLED dot set cursor and after this has been done we will write OLED dot display now now we will run it out okay uh, before this display we also need to write OLED dot print ln good work okay good work so now we we'll run it out the side OLED dot display yes we have to write certain semicolon here rather than colon okay now it has written good work okay so we can we can uh, even change certain things like okay we can change it to like four and here we will write red color so now hopefully it will, work, it will work or not okay so red is not recognized so we will write white white okay so run it out now you can see that it is good work okay uh, good work so okay OLED dot clear we also need to write uh, our OLED dot display we, we, we can okay we can comment this function down okay so it is not working so we we'll write OLED dot display as well either we have to wait for a certain time and here we also need to write OLED dot clear either it is a function or not I don't know but at least it is it can be something okay no such function okay one wait 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 let me let me do one thing and and we have to write here so now we will see that either okay so so it is written good work but obviously the logo is making certain problems so And here we will write 1000 and here 
clear dot or let dot clear display so now we will run it out and we will see that what its response will be okay so okay OLED dot clear display and we also need to write OLED dot display okay now you can see that the uh, okay it, it has gone the icon has been gone and we uh, are now able to print any sort of uh, numerical or alphanumerical things on the solar display so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe